But what does it feel like to hear your name as Oscar favorite? I mean, it's nuts. I never in a million. They don't give Oscars to people like me. Come they on. do? No, they don't. I've actually never received an award for anything that I've ever. It's not a joke. Uh, you can laugh later, but don't laugh now. I'm sensitive. I'm an actor. I have as much doubt and fear as anyone else. Uh, I have my fair share of anxieties, of dark days. Uh, I'm walking on a tightrope over here as an artist, and you know, one wrong move and it, it goes away. I don't usually gush, I'm, but you're simply wonderful in this. Thank so you we, so much. Yeah, I loved your performance in this. I kind of haven't been, haven't stopped talking about it. You crushed this movie Thank and made you. it your bitch. I'm sure you have heard the Oscar buzz. I mean, people are saying that you should be nominated for this. Chances are you're going to get an Oscar nomination. Well, you say that. I, I, I'm, that's, that, that's not even in my uh, head right now. I'm just happy to be here talking to you. I got off a flight like about three hours ago. I flew from London yesterday. I flew in from London where we're doing an arena tour. I'm going back today. and We just took a few days off to come back for this. And now I'm here on the red carpet. Hey, let's talk about what you're wearing first. It's very important stuff for the ladies. Tell me a little bit about the, about the tux. Well, it's, it's white. Uh, a combination of like Burberry and just my own stuff the same boots I wear every day. Yeah, it's white and there's a red bow tie. That's how long it took me to get ready. Shut up. No time at all, right? About four minutes. I never thought in a million years that my name would be in the same sentence as Oscar or Buzz. I always believed that the, the bridge between reality and a dream is work. Um, and I always, in moments of despair and doubt and dark days, uh, focus on, on the work. I show up and I work and I work and I work and I work. And the actor goes to Jared Leto. Jared Leto. The Golden Globe goes to Jared Leto. Jared Leto. Jared Leto, Dallas Buyers Club. Thank you, thank you so much. What's going through right before your mind? Right before you know what goes through is like if you're lucky enough to win, you want to get up there and, and remember, number one, what you wanted to say. Right. And you want to say the right thing and pay tribute to the people that really mean something to you, you know, yeah. uh, who have inspired you and believed in you. To my fellow nominees, uh, I'm so proud to share this journey with you. I'm in awe and I have so much respect for you all. All of the people who have lost their lives as a result of this dreadful disease. My brother Shannon, the best big brother in the world. You're a true artist. Thank you so much for sharing this insane and amazing adventure that is 30 Seconds to Mars and for being my best friend. I love you. I'd like to thank the makers of vegan butter, Baby Jesus. The people who have made a cho choice to live their lives, not as others would have them live it, but as they have chosen to dream it. Whitcomb L. Judson, the inventor of the zipper. It's the people who reminded me to dream, taught me to fight for what I believe in. Oh, hey, Keanu. I love you. And uh, last but not least, uh, to my mother, who is here, the hottest date in town. Uh, I just want to say, uh, Thank you for giving me such a shining and wonderful example of the possibilities of life. I never expected it. I never even dreamed of it. This is incredible. I, I didn't make a film for almost six years. I was pursuing other dreams. I never ever in a million years dreamed that I would be here right now talking to you. It wasn't even a fantasy of mine because it was so far-fetched. I would never have thought that they would give me any prize, and I never won an award for anything I ever did on screen until Dallas Buyers Club. Oddly, the thing that I've won the most awards for is the thing I've been criticized for the most, and that was, that's music. You know, I started a band and the world laughed at me, literally laughed at me, kicked us around, talked shit about us in the press for years, and still do. Before we played headlining shows, we've toured incessantly. 
We were an opening band for a decade. Uh, you know, but we hunkered down. We worked and we worked and we worked. We play arenas all over the world. We have the most amazing, brilliant, beautiful fans one could ever ask for. And we've had an incredible life as a result. And the EMA goes to 30 seconds to Mars. 30 seconds to Mars! 30 seconds to Mars! Terry from Italy, could you ever give up doing music? And if you could, for what? Well, I certainly if I died, I suppose, I would give up uh, quite a few things. But you would gain so much. When you make music, uh, you are yourself when you're on stage. There's no character. You're who you are, uh, and some, sometimes more of yourself than you ever are. Lots of things to do out there, you know?